Girl, my skin looks wet. This looks like I'm gonna be an oil slick at the end of the day. Hey guys, what is up, what's going on? It's your girl Ashley and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is a full face using only flower beauty products, which I am so incredibly stoked for because you guys have been loving this full face using only series. I love it when you guys leave comments down below with your recommendations as to which brand you want me to film next. Now, this was a brand that I personally chose because I have some favorites within the flower beauty line and I really wanted to dive deeper within the brand to see if I loved any more of her products. So I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys like it, of course, don't forget to press that subscribe button. Also click that bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload, which is three times a week, every single week. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and y'all not gonna wanna miss out. So with that, we have a lot, a lot of products to get through, so let's get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids with a little bit of concealer. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer in the shade Light. You guys already know this is one of my personal favorite concealers from the drugstore or from Ulta Beauty for that matter. It's not technically drugstore because you can't find fly you can't find Flower Beauty in Walgreens or CVS, but you can find it in Ulta and it is fairly affordable. I love it because it is a soft focus concealer, so it's really going to blur out any of your imperfections without looking cakey or anything like that. I also like to use it as an eyelid primer because it's gonna mute out my eyelids and cancel out any discoloration. Once I have a little bit, a little bit, more like a lot of concealer on my eyelid, I'm gonna buff and blend it out with a big fluffy brush to ensure that everything is nice even and blended for the eyes I do have a few different products to kind of play around with in today's video first and foremost I have this by flower beauty this is the wanderlust eyeshadow palette in the shade Austin which has some really fun colors in here not entirely sure what happened to this but this kind of like fell off but we're gonna glue it back in hopes that it just kind of stays intact and then I also have the beauty flash full face eye palette so this has a mixture between eyeshadows also highlighters blushes and also a fun bronzer in there so first and foremost I am going to take this palette and I'm gonna pick up the very center shade which is that soft brown on an m441 and I'm gonna use this as my transitional color so I'm pretty much just rocking it from outer to inner corner and I am using a relatively light hand just because I don't want to go in with too much of this product I do want it to be nice light and diffuse because again this is going to be the transitional color so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into the Austin palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here which is that Sienna and I'm gonna take it on that same M441 and I'm just gonna go directly over top deepening up the crease a little bit towards the very outer edge and this is just going to warm up the look because since this is a Sienna it is just going to add a little bit more warmth to the eye look I will say it looks a little bit lighter on camera than it does in the actual pan. As you can see, I was expecting it to be as deep as the shadow in the pan and it's not. So that's a little disappointing, but nonetheless, I think the shadow quality is decent and it's blending out really, really nice. I'm gonna take this from outer to inner corner, but I'm not gonna take it all the way in here. I'm gonna start up about right here. So I definitely will say that the eyeshadow is blending extremely nicely. I'm just taking a fluffy brush right here and I'm just going right alongside the edges just because I do want things to be a little bit softer and a lot more diffused. I don't really want any harsh edges in this area right here. I really want it to just blend seamlessly from my crease to my brow bone. So I didn't even realize what my camera actually shut off and you guys didn't see the part of me applying my lid shade. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that champagne shade and what I did is I just popped it directly over top of the concealer. And as you can see, the pigment on this is beautiful. This went on completely dry. And I'm really just packing it on with an M167 by Morphe. So now that that's done, I wanna go right back into the full face palette and I'm gonna pick up the deeper eye color right here, which is that deep brown. And I'm going to pack this right here on the very outer V just to deepen things up a little bit. I feel like it needs just a little bit more definition towards the very outer V area. So I'm taking a pencil brush and at first, I'm really just packing on the eyeshadow. I'm not entirely sure if you could see what's happening here, but when I pat the shadow, it kind of just goes 
those, you know, like it kind of just disperses in a weird way. So I am going to go in with more of a smaller blending brush and I'm going to pick up some of that brown and I'm just going to take it and go in small circular motions right here to see if that works a little bit better. I'm actually going to switch back to that orange shade and see if that helps. I'm just going to try to brush the orange or sienna directly over top of that shimmer for more of a seamless blend. And I can definitely still see some of that dark brown. So I'm going to go in with some more of that champagne to see if I can kind of mask that shadow I created with the dark brown. So I'm not the biggest fan of the way this looks. So I'm going to switch over to using this eyeshadow palette right here. This is the Shimmer and Shade eyeshadow palette in the shade Golden Natural. And I'm just going to pick up the very deep brown within the palette. So this one right over here to see if I can kind of create the effect that I was going for with the face and eye palette. So I'm going to take that same small blending brush, which is an M514, tap off and then just concentrate this color right here on the outer V and kind of blend it inwards to create more of a deeper effect towards the outer V. And honestly, this is blending out a lot better than the brown in the face and eye palette for sure. So this right here is kind of what I'm vibing with. I'm not going to lie. I'm like a little bit disappointed in my eyeshadow color selection because I kind of feel like I kept it like really, really basic. Like I feel like a basic bitch, but you know what? We're going to roll with it. We're going to keep it going. I actually want to use a little bit of the Warrior Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Blade. I'm going to top this directly over top of my lid color to add a little slum slum. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first tap it on the back of my hand just so that way I don't get that much. And then I'm going to dab it directly over top of my lid color. And clearly I barely got anything on there. So I'm going to dip right back in, do the same thing, and then just kind of like paint this onto my lid. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, so I kind of feel like I'm creating more of like a harsh edge here. So I'm going to take my finger and kind of just dab this edge just so that way it blends in with that brown a little bit better. So at this point with the eyes, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. It's looking decent. Nothing too, too crazy. It's not bad, but it's also not like my favorite considering the dark brown isn't as dark as I normally would like, but we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it rolling. I have this, which is the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating primer and I love the packaging on this it is so cute and luxe so I'm going to pump a little bit of this out and apply it all over to prime my skin before foundation application so I will definitely say that the primer feels very very hydrating on the skin it definitely feels more like a moisturizer type of feel it's not too too silicone based which is something I can appreciate sometimes I feel like I just need a really really good hydrating primer on my skin especially during the colder winter months it's been so cold recently here in Florida. I can't even take it really because if you live in Florida, you know what I mean, girl. It was like low 50s, like... <laughs> Anyways, uh, my skin, it's nice and primed. I'm now going to move on to foundation. Today, I will be using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion All Day Wear Luminous Makeup, and it gives you a nude skin feel. I did pick up the shade Warm Beige L4. I am praying and I am hoping that this matches me. So I'm going to pump some of this out. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. It might be, it might work. It might work. Let me not get too ahead of myself. And even if it doesn't work, we're going to make it work today because it's the only foundation I have. Feels very like, like a moisturizer kind of. Let me get my sponge. What am I doing? Please hold. Got my sponge. I'm going to dip the sponge into the foundation and then I'm going to start working from the center and then working my way outward. Honestly, it looks a tad bit on the light side, but I'm really hoping that it oxidizes. The coverage on this is beautiful. Like it looks so good. Do you guys see the finish on that? Like it definitely is a luminous dewy foundation. So I'm definitely going to have to set it down properly, but nonetheless, the coverage of this foundation is great. Okay. So let me just say this. This foundation, hella luminous. Like, this foundation is gonna be perfect if you want to look like you literally just got out of the pool and you're like sopping wet. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like, my skin looks very, like, whoo, glowy, like, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. It hurts. But we're gonna have to keep it going. We're gonna have to kind of 
put on concealer, set it down with some powder to see if I end up liking it. I will say that it is a very medium coverage foundation. I definitely don't feel like it is a full coverage foundation simply because I do kind of see my sunspots peeking through. I see some of my blemishes peeking through and stuff like that. Like it's not really covering up everything that I want to cover up, if that makes any sense at all. I'm going to go right back into the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, which is a product that I already know and love. This actually looks darker than my foundation. Way to go, Ash. Way to go. But you know what? We're going to make it work. Can I use this as my foundation? What I'm doing here is I'm just taking my Equal Tools sponge and I'm just kind of cleaning up this edge right here of my actual eyeshadow because it was looking like a little sloppy. So I always like to use my concealer to just clean up that area a little bit more. And I'm also going to make sure I get this concealer right here alongside the side of my nose because otherwise it could leave like a gap that looks very unflattering. Okay, so now that my concealer is all blended out, you can definitely see that it gave me additional coverage, which I don't know about you guys, but I feel like if I'm gonna take the time to put on foundation, I wanna be like full glam. I want it to cover everything on my skin. I don't wanna see like little blemishes peeking through because I feel like that just kind of defeats the purpose, but everyone's different. Do what works for you. We have powder from Flower Beauty. This is the Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I am ready. Let's just say I always stick to what I know. I do think the packaging is a little excessive. Like look, honey, there's no reason why the packaging should be this thick. Like this is gonna take up half of my makeup drawer. So this right here is what the powder looks like in the packaging. It definitely looks more like a peachy powder, but we'll see. Um, I'm not opposed to trying new things. Let's just hope I don't completely sabotage myself with the powder. So I'm actually gonna take the pointy end of my Equal Tools sponge, well not pointy, the flat side of it, and I'm gonna use it to set the concealer down and in place. I'm going to actually just set my entire face down with the powder. I do like that it has like a little bit of shimmer in it, it, like it's not like glitter or anything like that it definitely has some kind of glowing property to it which is really going to illuminate the skin in a really healthy looking way i'm gonna go in and powder one more time with a press powder so i will be using the light illusion perfecting powder right here i did pick mine up in the shade beige and i'm gonna take it on a big powder brush this one is by eagle tools and i'm just gonna press it into the skin and then dust away any loose powder i still have sitting on the skin i'm also gonna blend this down a little bit because at this point i feel like my face makeup doesn't quite match my neck but we're gonna make it work for the sake of the video. I definitely want to add some color back into the skin so I'm going to go into the full face palette and I'm going to pick up the bronzer shade on an angled brush and I'm just going to lightly dust this around my cheek area. Now this does appear to have some shimmer to it. This definitely appears to be more like a okay I just left the beach. You know what I mean? It's definitely not like the Collapse Sun Obsession bronzer where it's going to add shadows. This is definitely adding like a little bit of color, a little bit of shimmer Shimmer, but it's not bad before I continue on let's definitely finish off the very lower lash line So let's take the shimmer and shade palette in the shade golden natural and let's dip right back into that brown color I'm gonna use this flat definer edge to really push this dark brown closest to the lower lash line So definitely use whatever brush you guys have at home. That's very very similar now for liner today, instead of using my typical black liner, I did switch things up a little bit and I'm actually going to go in with a brown. This is the Forever Wear Long Wear Eyeliner in the shade Brown Stone. And I'm just going to pop this right here in my lower lash line. So I'm going to add like a little something something to the very inner corner and I'm going to pick up that lime green in the Austin palette. Spritz my brush with a little bit of the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray and pop this right here in the very inner corner. So after thoroughly looking at this look, I definitely think it calls for a winged eyeliner. I do not have any liquid liner or gel liner from Flower Beauty, so I'm going to stick to what I know. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black. This stuff is my jam. Honestly, you guys, it's so inexpensive in the drugstore. I don't recommend any other drugstore gel eyeliner other than this one. That's how much I love it. So go out, snag it, and thank me later. Now that my liner is done, I'm actually going to pop on a little bit of mascara falsies and then we'll go ahead and finish off the rest of the face. 
eventually. Now that I have my lashes on, I definitely want to add a little bit of highlight. Now I do have this palette by Flower Beauty. This is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And as you can see, it comes with three different shades of highlighter. We have a champagne, we have a pink, and then we also have this gold shade right here. I definitely think I'm gonna use more of the champagne shade. Also want to note that it does come with a brush so that way you can kind of apply the highlight. But I definitely like to use my own brushes. So I will be using this one by ABH. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that highlighter tap off and apply pop it onto the cheek. That is one blinding highlight. I'm actually going to dip into the golden color because this one's looking just a tad bit on the light side and I'm just going to kind of buff and blend it into the cheeks right here. And then I'm going to go in with blush. You guys know how much I love the Flower Beauty flower pots. These are their powder blushes. I have one in PB2 Peach Primrose and then I have another one in Warm Hibiscus. I'm actually going to mix the two together just because I really love how both look on my cheeks. So I never got to go in with a brow bone highlight. So I'm going to take this highlighter right here from the full face palette. And I'm actually going to pop this on my brow bone to act as my brow bone highlight. And this has a little bit of sheen to it, but nothing too crazy. I think it looks gorgeous. I, I look like a cast member straight up off the walking dead. Like what? You know what? I'm going to go in with a lip color. This one is by Flower Beauty. This is the Miracle Matte Lip. I did pick up the shade in Rosewood, which is essentially a very pretty rosy matte liquid lip that I think is going to go amazing with this makeup look. This lip color right here is stunning. It is gorgeous. Like, I'm obsessed with the formula. It's a very whipped formula, so it feels very, very creamy on the lips, and it definitely doesn't feel over drying at all. And you guys know I'm so picky when it comes to matte liquid lips, but I will definitely say you guys definitely have to try out these Miracle Matte Lips if you guys haven't already. They're bomb. I do want to note that I'm not entirely sure how it's going to last throughout the day. So if I eat, it may wipe off. It does still feel a little bit wet on my lips so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for it to completely dry down and then let you guys know what I think but the last and final thing I'm gonna do is spritz my face with a setting spray this is the flower beauty seal the deal hydrating setting spray and I'm just going to spritz this all over and the mist on this is super fine Ooh, this is nice and just like that, you guys, this is the final and completed look. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I will say as a whole, the whole entire look ended up coming together. Like, y'all see me? Y'all see this glow? Do you see the highlight? Like, I'm going to have all of my personal favorites listed down below with asterisks. So make sure you guys go down there and check it out. And if you guys want to see any other full face using only videos, leave your recommendations down below in the comments. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Click that bell so you guys are notified anytime I upload a new video, which is three times a week, every single week. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you guys aren't going to want to miss out on the fun. I love you, and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces. <laughs>